Let's take a closer look at another new T1 Plus competitor. The Mini John Cooper Works Rally with petrol engine. The car itself already competes in the Dakar for two years, but the situation around the German X-Ray team is a bit special. In the past, they built highly successful rally weight cars with diesel engines, more on that in my other videos. The advantage of a diesel car is the much higher torque, which is useful in off-road vehicles, and the lower fuel consumption, which means the Minis only carry 325 liters of fuel instead of 500 like their petrol competitors. So although the downside is the lower overall power, the cars are lighter and have more torque. Additionally, X-Rate uses biodiesel, which is created from 90% recycled material, so also in terms of sustainability, they have something to impress. So X-Rate had a great concept and could win the Dakar six times in the last 13 years. In the meantime, Audi decided to join the Dakar rally and in order to be competitive right away, they cooperated with X-Rate. That was basically a no-go because X-Rate is a traditional BMW mini team, so Audi's competitor. So Audi created a new company called Q Motorsport and pulled over most X-Rate staff, including drivers for three years. More on that in my Audi Dakar videos. In 2024, the last year of the Audi project, they won the Dakar and in a way you could say that X-Rate won the Dakar for a seventh time. As announced before, Audi pulled out after their third year and dissolved their organization and the X-Rate staff went back to X-Rate. So the small team could focus on their own T1 Plus vehicle again, which unfortunately, but also unsurprisingly with most staff working for Audi, was not very competitive and a year late for the new regulations. The car's design and concept is great, but because of the lower fuel load, the regulators gave the diesel minis a higher weight, which took away their advantage. So now they had a heavier car with less power overall. So in the last year, X-Ray teamed up with legendary BMW tuner Alpina and they created the RS24 engine. A BMW straight six-cylinder petrol turbo engine with 3 liter capacity, 360 horsepower and 570 newton meters. More would be possible, but the turbo boost is limited. So with that, they have a power plant, which although has less torque, is comparable to the competition in terms of overall power and the weight disadvantage, which they got for their diesel car, disappears. At the same time, X-Rate claims to have the same 325 liter fuel tank size, which would be impressive if they created such an efficient engine and would give them a significant weight advantage. So that's a huge step for X-Rate, who never built a petrol Dakar vehicle for the top class before. They sent six T1 Plus Minis to the Dakar this year. Four of them will be the new petrol Minis. And two of them the reliable and proven diesel engine. Let me know how you like the new X-Rate Mini in the comments below and check out my other videos for more.